Taylor's Bedelia, a couple of lengths back to Lady Pro. On settling down, the leader is Love Mocha in messy enough early stages, followed by Western Cape, not even maybe, pushed up on the outside, followed by TD's approach, and then Cyber Attack, not back to dispute a position with Bedelia. And the back marker, tap for toe, is Lady Pro. Heading along the side of the track with six furlongs to go. Love Mocha joined by not even maybe a length in front of Western Cape. And then Cyber Attack and TD's approach, Padili and Lady Pro. As they race down the far side in the Linden Bloodstock Apprentice three year old claiming race. And it's not even maybe Jake Cohn nudging to the front, but only just from Love Mocha and Scott McCullough as they head for the halfway stage. Break of less than two lengths then the Western Cape. Daniel King sharing third with Cyber Attack and Robert Weirty. TD's approach has lost some ground and then Bedelia and struggling is Lady Pro. Continuing towards the end of the back straight and it's Love Mocha wrestling back an advantage of over the length from Western Cape. Dropping out is not even maybe. Closing is Cyber Attack and then TD's approach Bedelia and Lady Pro. Heading for the top of the track, and it's Love Mocha, extending the advantage at two and a half lengths over Western Cape, followed by Cyber Attack. Bedelia is closing on the outside in the dark colors, and then TD's approach as they head for the final turn. And it is Love Mocha from Western Cape trying to challenge, and Western Cape has swept to the front. Here's Bedelia around the outside, racing to the final furlong. Western Cape strongly pressed by Bedelia and these two kick away from Love Mocha who can't give any more and it is Bedelia doing best on the stand side Bedelia and Connor Stonewatch win it by length from Western Cape running on to third place have been last throughout Lady Pro yeah, it's a bit of a surprise winner of her opener rate of 57 Bedelia one of two runners for trainer Gavin Cromwell gets off the mark on it's a time of asking Tom Tyon for the first time Connor Stone Walsh on board. He sat in by this time. Might have benefited from a pace collapse, Don. He did, yeah. 20 to 1 winner. Kevin mm -hmm. Lennon is Three year old maiden. It's the first and last. Just leading them in the early phases from report on the outside of Toe Stone, followed by Green Sky. Couple of lengths to mail for Sam dropped in. Is Dakota Chief. Continuing towards the first turn. It's the first and last. From report on the outside, in between them is Toll Stone, tracked by Green Sky, and then Mail for Sam, and the back marker is Dakota Chief. Heading along the side of the track, and report just edges ahead of the first and last, followed by Toll Stone, just in third place from Green Sky with the final couple, Dakota Chief, and Mail for Sam. Six furlongs to go as they swing a right to head into the back straight, and it's report. Gavin Ryan by Nick to the first and last. Scott McCullough, break of a length to Toll Stone. Billy Lee is beating third place with Green Sky and Dylan Brown McMonigal. A couple of lengths to Dakota Chief. and Andy Slattery on the outside of Mayo for Sam and Joey Shedden. Racing on towards the halfway stage. Not much between report and the first and last. A length and a half in front of Toll Stone and Green Sky. Then Dakota Chief and Mayo for Sam. Pretty well stacked up with half a mile to go. They've gone by halfway, and it's report in the first and last one and two, followed by Toll Stone and Green Sky, and then Mayor for Salmon ridden along is Dakota Chief. Three furlongs from home, the first and last on the rail, one off the rail is report, break of a length and a half to Toll Stone, continuing to dispute third with Green Sky, and then Dakota Chief and Mayo for Sam. Two furlongs from the finish, and it's the first and last on the inside, the fractional leader from with the big white face is Report, then Green Sky after them in third, dropping back is Toll Stone, racing to the final furlong, the first and last on the inside is just the leader, here's Green Sky on the outside of Report, it's these three, a hundred yards to go, the first and last is claimed by Green Sky, the near side, Green Sky, the first at last report. Yes, Green Sky gets off the mark, second time of asking. A handicap for three year olds over the extended nine furlongs. It's Port McGee Fratus and going up to the two, the top weight Port Raid, followed by Captain John Batty, Clock and Ely Moore on the outside of Miss Langmore, then so Messy, Game Eagle, and Autumn Sky, the back marker. As they continue towards the first bend, and it's Port McGee, Port Raid on the outside of Fratus, not much between the three, followed round the turn by Clock and Ely Moore, and then Miss Langmore and Captain John Barry, knocked back on the inside, and so Messy, Game Eagle, two lengths to Autumn Sky. 
Continuing towards the far side of the track, and it's Fratus and Gary Carroll just leading Port Break to Scott McCullough. Break of two lengths to an improving so messy. Dylan Brown McMoneagle on the outside moves to dispute third with Port McGee and Lee Roach. And between horses is Clockanini Moore, Captain John Barry next, and then Miss Langmore, Game Eagle, and Autumn Sky ridden along at the back of the field. Soon at the halfway stage, and poking to the front, Port Ray leads by a half to Fratus, just in second place from So Messy. Length and a half back to Port McGee, disputing fourth with Clockanili Moore. They've passed halfway, Captain John Batty next, and then Game Eagle. Miss Langmore is struggling as one behind Autumn Sky. Just over three furlongs to go as they turn out of the bag. Port Ray and Fratus, not much between them, followed by So Messy, then Port McGee, ridden along on the inside of Clock and Ely Moore, and then Captain John Barry with the back three, Game Eagle, Autumn Sky, and Miss Langmore almost lost on the bend there. Port McGee, it's Fratus on the inside of Port Ray as these two press ahead of So Messy, and then Port McGee, Lee Roach is going to finish without his arms into the straight. Fratus on the inside of Port Ray. It's a duel to the final 200 yards. Port Ray on the outside of Fratus. Fratus, they're out in front of So Messi and Port McGee, 150 to go. Fratus and Gary Carroll on the inside, just getting the upper hand going to the line. It's Fratus and Gary Carroll who's riding winners to beat the band. Port Rate second, well clear of So Messi. Uh, Mick Mulvaney, death race is pharmacy's handicap coming past the stands the first time. It's Black Castle Storm, Redstone, Well, Eloquent Thought of the leading three, followed by Pont Odomir de Grey. Chocolat Blue with a raid position, and then a Shin and Dine, relevant range on the outside of Quick Blessing. And the back marker, the other grey in the race, the top weight, set a Kel. Down to the bend they go, and Redstone Well. Picks it up, goes on by two lengths to Black Castle Storm, break of a length and a half to Pond Odomir in third, and fourth is Eloquent Arthur, followed along the side by Shin and Dine, and then Chocolat Bleu. They're followed into the back straight by Relevant Range with the final couple. Six furlongs out, quick blessing, and Sarah Kell. It's Redstone Well, the leader, improving his Pond Odomir on the outside to edge into second place ahead of Black Castle Storm. Shin and Dye next in fourth and fifth is Eloquent Art of the Red Cap, two lengths to Chocolat Blue. And they're followed towards halfway by Relevant Range, Quick Blessing, and Sarah Kell, the back couple. Soon at the halfway stage, it's Redstone Well and Amy Jo Hayes with a lead of three parts over Pont d'Ordemer and Gary Carroll. And third is Black Castle Storm and Declan McDonough. Fourth. Heading inside halfway is Shin and Dine and Colin Keane, then Eloquent Arthur and Relevant Rain. Chocolat Blue is two behind. Sarah Kell and Quick Blessing. Three to run. Turning towards the home straight. Red Stone Well and the Red and White. With the lead from Pont d'Odemir, then Black Castle Storm joined for third by Shin and Dine. Then Eloquent Arthur and Relevant Rain. Chocolat Blue is two behind. Sarah Kell and Quick Blessing is last. With a quarter of a mile to go, Red Stone Well continues in front. Now being wound up in second is Pont Odomir. And they're followed round the home turn by Black Castle Storm. And then a Shin and Dine eloquent author. Chocolat Blue makes ground on the outside of Relevant Range, who's hemmed in inside the final furlong. And still the one they've got to go and catch is Redstone Well. The others are running out of time. Chocolat Blue is lunging the near side. Redstone Well by three parts of a length to Chocolat Blue. But Pont Odomir third. Yes, well done to Amy Jo Hey, She's made virtually all and has won after finishing runner-up in Gorham Park in her most recent start. And Redstone Well for trainer Danny O'Sullivan, former jump jockey, records its second win of its career after winning a maiden in Cork last season. Soft ground, Dan. Yeah, it, she was very good on it, wasn't she, Amy Jo Hayes? Because she... A dozen runners of uh, nine furlongs in the lodge at Ashford Castle Maiden. X pound Granville Street in between them is Chicago Storm up to make four in the line is Rock Basher, followed a length and a half back by Lizzie's Philly. Angelus Griseo de Grey on the outside, and they're followed by Game Nation and Band in between horses. They're followed towards the bend by Black Soul and So Easy Way, Corn Market, and Plunkett Street, the back market. Granville Street just picks it up from X pound, two lengths back to Rock Basher. Just in third on the outside of the nose band at Chicago Storm. They're tracked by Lizzie's Philly, Angelus Griseo next, and then Game Nation and Band and So Easy Way. Black Soul out in front of the final couple as they go down towards the six furlong point. 
In the lead is Granville Street by two lengths, two X pound, Rogue Basher in third, and fourth is Chicago Storm. This quartet followed closely by Lizzie's Philly. Four lengths back to Angelus Griseo, and then Game Nation nudged along on the inside. Band is next, and then So Easy Way, and Black Soul on the outside, and then Plunkett Street, who relegates Corn Market to be the back marker. Nicely spaced out, having passed halfway, and the lodge at Ashford Castle Maiden. It is Granville Street, and Rock Bashers improved on the outside. Dropping a position to third is Expound, and they're followed across to the three by Chicago Storm. Poised on the outside is Lizzie's Philly, and then Ban ridden into it ahead of Game Nation. And then there's a gap to Angelus Griseo, two and a half furlongs from home as they hit the straight, and it's Granville Street, the leader. Kicking on once more from Expound, who wrestles back to second. Lizzie's Philly on the outside of Rock Basher, and then Chicago Storm and Band into the straight to the final furlong, and it is Granville Street on the outside. Lizzie's Philly with Expound in between horses. It's these three. Band after them in fourth, and then Chicago Storm racing inside the final 150 yards. It's on the inside. Expound headed close to the line by Lizzie's Philly, who tastes success for the first time under Colin. And gain for that part, second expound band. They gained the advantage series handicap, and it's Long Claw the first to show in front, followed by Mut Dawal in third place. The summer fly as they race up to the top of the course. Long Claw would throw on the inside, summer fly, then Mut Dawal an evening verse. Vintage gold next on the outside, then the Trunt and Lofton and Red Vermilion and sign from above, five zeros, Nostra Casa, Big Kit. Turning into the straight in the summer fly, opening up a couple of lengths advantage in these early stages from Long Claw, and then evening verse on the inside of Muta Dowell, tracked in by Vintage Gold as they reach the final mile and a furlong. Summer fly with the nose band improving through the field to pick up the chase is Lofton, then Long Claw. Another improver is Red Vermilion and then Evening Verse and the Trune and Muta Dowell in between horses. Vintage Gold next and five zeros and signs from above. Nostra Casa is one behind, and that is Big Kitten. Summerfly taken on for the lead by Loft 10. Two lengths in front of the third running Long Claw. Red Vermilion is fourth. And then Evening Verse on the inside with the Truant. And between those two is Muta Dowell, then Sign from Above. Vintage Gold nudged along on the outside of five zeros. And then Nostra Casa, Big Kitten, remains the back marker. Continuing on towards the halfway stage. And it's Summer Fly and Lee Roach in the lead from Lofton and Chris Hayes. Turning in third place is Long Claw and Gavin Ryan. And fourth is Red Vermilion and Pumium Joker. And then Evening Verse and the Troon. Vintage Gold with the Dowell sign from above five zeros. Nostra Casa, three lengths back to Big Kitten. They've gone by halfway as they continue towards their point of departure. Summer Fly by three parts to Lofton. Improving into third place is the Truant, and then Long Claws dropped a spot of fourth. After them, Muta Dowell and Red Vermilion alongside, followed the end of a circuit by Evening Verse, and then Sign from above, creeping into contention on the inside, the Nostra Casa, Vintage Gold, five zeros, Big Kitten. Just over three furlongs to go as they turn out of the far side. It's Summer Fly and Lofton, one and two, followed by Long Claw, the Troon, signed from above, Muta Dowell and Evening Verse, and Nostra Casa next, dropping ground, is Red Vermilion on the move, as Big Kitten, then five zeros, and detached as Vintage Gold. Two to run as they turn into the straight. Summer Fly being followed by Lofton, the Troon on the outside. Long Claw goes between horses, followed by Sign from above, and Nostra Casa as they spin the final turn. Summer Fly from Long Claw, who's laying down a challenge on the outside, followed by Sign from Above, who runs on into third place ahead of Nostra Casa, and it's Long Claw and Gavin Ryan getting on top, running to the finish, will win the game, the advantage series, handicap, Summerfly second, third is Sign from Above, Nostra Casa across the line. Upweight female soldier, going to Millgrove next, then Pashmina, as they sort themselves out. Severe de Verto and Vicio turning, a couple of lengths in front of female soldier, then going to Millgrove, Pashmina and Marvinos is next, four lengths back to Molly's Gamble, something similar of a break to Disco Boots. Turning into the straight, nicely spaced out, it's Vera Verto going on. Over the length in front of Vicio and then gone to Milgrove, female soldier the outside and then Pashmina and Marvelous alongside. And then Molly's Gamble with the back marker Disco Boots coming up to pass the winning post. With more than a mile of the race left, it's Vera Verto, female soldier.
has moved off in pursuit. Vishio now third. Then Marvelosa, who's improved two lengths to Gonda Milgrove, and then Pashmina with the final couple, Molly's Gamble and Disco Boots. It's Vida Verto just leading to the bend with seven furlongs to go, female soldier in the light colours, then Vicio, Marvelous, the yellow cap in fourth, and then gone to Milgrove Pashmina, as Molly's Gamble is joined in rear by Disco Boots. Continuing on towards the halfway stage, in the Irish EBF Phillies handicap, Vida Verto is the leader by a length to female soldier, another length back to Vicio, and then Marvelosa racing together, Pashmina and gone to Milgrove, and then Molly's Gamble, and Disco Boots as they race to the final five and a half furlongs. And Female Soldier goes a place in front to lead Vida Verto, three lengths back to Vizio. In fourth place is Marvelosa, then Gonda Milgrove Pashmina, and then Molly's Gamble and Disco Boots as they return to their point of departure. Half a mile to go, Female Soldier by neck to half a length of a Vida Verto, a little bit closer in third is Vizio, Marvelosa's fourth. Gone to Milgrove, nudged along the inside of Pashmina and then Disco Boots, who just relegates Molly's Gamble to be the back marker. Coming up to the final three furlongs as they turn out of the back. Female Soldier and Vera Verto the inside. Their match for home. Two lengths in front of Vicio, being followed by Marvelous and Gone to Milgrove, Pashmina, Disco Boots and Molly's Gamble as they race past the two. And Vera Verto is back in front from Female Soldier. Vicio is next, closing his Pashmina on the outside of Marvelous and then Gone to Milgrove, Disco Boots, Molly's Gamble, but scooting clear off the turn. Here's Vito Berto as Gaddy Cal takes a peek back. His second is Marvelosa, then Pashmin on the outside, who's coming home well ahead of Female Soldier, but Vito Berto, it's going to be double wins for Gaddy Cal and Gavin Cromwell, judge for the second, Pashmin and Marvelosa. Yes, doubles all around for Gary Carroll and, of course, Gavin Cromwell.